Hey guys, Freshwater Fisherman here. Today I'm going to be bringing you another Lucky Tackle Box unboxing. Um, basically, I've already opened this just to see what's in it and everything. But I haven't really gone into detail. I just kind of opened it and looked at everything and put it back in. But that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be having another... Uh, video for you probably tomorrow uh over my tackle box and everything in my tackle box but let's get right into this unboxing all right now that i got the camera set up so you guys can see everything just how i'm looking at it uh let's get right into this box so usually right when you open it up like i said i've gone through you usually have your That one. All right, here it is. So usually once you open it up, you get the what's inside your box sheet. And basically you get, in every box you get a, a pack of mustad hooks, which I have. But let's just go right into this, starting off with the Live Target Miscellaneous Frog. This retails for $10.99. Uh... This looks like a poppin' frog. Yeah, it's a poppin' frog. But the paint job on this thing looks like a real frog. And as most YouTubers say, and which is kind of what I've been going off of every time I get frogs, is the top color on the top of your frog doesn't really matter. It's the underside that the fish are going to be seeing because these lures float. Um, so basically all the fish are going to be seeing is this side of your frog with the hooks down and everything. So they're going to see this feather, which would kind of act as like the back legs when you pop it, the back would kind of like fly up. So first thing is the live target popping frog. And what I really said is his paint job looks super sick because as you can see, it looks like a frog. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But on his side, there's little arms that I think will probably add a lot of detail on the underbelly. And we'll really get those fish biting once you throw it on the water. Uh, this isn't weedless like other like frogs that aren't popping frogs. But um, I'd probably throw those next to weeds and stuff. Just make sure it doesn't get to just make sure it doesn't get too close. And even if you wanted to, you could trim that up a little bit depending on how you guys like to throw your frogs uh let's close this and then we'll get right to the next lure next is the reaction strike four inch silver shad thin shad silver shiner uh this is it um i'll take one of these out of the bags but this is the box it comes in there you guys can see that but hang on ah oh, here it is so when we open this it's a ziploc so that's always good so your lures don't dry out your soft plastics i guess i should say don't dry out uh, but right when we open this i'm gonna pull this out and these have a really weird texture to them. As you can see, it kind of has this whole graded, and this is like a swim bait. So as it's moving through the water, you could hook this up to almost like a Texas rig, or maybe a wacky, not a wacky rig, but like a drop shot, um, and just bounce this off of, off of the rocks on the bottom, make it create noise with that little weight on your Texas rig, hit it in the rocks, get the fish attracted to it, and just kind of like yo-yo it off the bottom. But you get four of those, as you can see. So, like, as you're pulling it up, this little, like, bottom's gonna, like, go like that, like a shad would. Um, next, after I get this back into the back, we have, like I said, in every uh, Lucky Tackle box, you get mustad, a set of mustad hooks, miscellaneous mustad hooks. Um, in this month's box, for me, I just got some big mouth. 
uh, two books. These are four aught books. You get three of them, and these will work on your Texas rig, but they're a little extra, like, wide gap. So you might want to use a bigger worm or something for this if you're going to Texas rig it. But those are the hooks. These hooks are high quality hooks. They're very sharp. So like if you're hooking it up, be super careful with this. Because they're a lot sharper than all the other hooks that I use to go bait fishing and everything like that. So next we have the Z-Man Chatter Frog. This color I got is kind of like a white and green. And it gives you trailers that you can put on it. It gives you two different trailers, I think. Uh, let me open this up. Yeah, here's what it looks like in the box. As you can see, it's kind of like a pop frog and a chatterbait and the same thing. But it's more of a chatterbait. Like, you could pop this off the top if you wanted to. But it's more of a chatterbait, like this little blade up here. That'll give you a little motion going upwards. But it also works as, like, a little spinner spoon thing that you would have on a chatterbait. So, right when you open this up, you get this little frog-looking head, as you guys can see. Um, then you get this hook coming up. It's a pretty sharp hook, so be careful. Um, but right here, you see the little spoon kind of thing, and it is metal, so that'll create a lot of noise. And this almost might work as a weedless, because this might block it as you're pushing it through the water. It's going to stay like that, pushing the weeds up and over your hook. Um, but that'll give you a lot of noise, and it'll also shine in the water. Um, next, we have your three different legs. And also, if you wanted to trim this, I would say if you're going to trim the skirt on this, I'd say only just trim it up to like the bottom of the hook. So it would look more like that instead of really long. But you could leave it as long as you want. Probably just depends on the size of bass you're going to be going after. But these legs will look really nice when you trim it. So what you're going to want to do is there's a little hole in the middle. I hope you get guided through. So you just put, poke this through here. And right when you get about halfway down the thickness of the body, just kind of turn your hook where it goes through the outer side of your bait so once you get it to look like that just push it up and then that skirted jig will help hide it and the legs will kick up dirt and everything um i wouldn't necessarily throw this into like a brush pile like you would with maybe like a weedless, a regular weedless frog and maybe push the hook down a little bit more to the bottom instead of how I had it in the middle and then you get more cover from that hook but that's basically what you're gonna want to do with this um, and once again why you would want to trim that skirt um, it is like a very very big skirt that's on this thing uh, and also, so you guys know, the little frog legs that are behind this thing are not meant to come off when you get them on. Just saying. They're super hard to get off. But it comes, you get this green and white kind of color with green sparkles. That would look really nice. And then you get a white and green sparkled one. Let me see how we're doing on time. Alright, we've got plenty of time. Um... Next, we have both of these. The live target lure, I forgot to say, was ten ninety nine reaction strike silver shad colored ones were seven ninety nine, and the mustad hooks were five dollars on the dot. The Z Man Chatter Frog was four ninety nine, and let me try and get this back in here. There's that chatter frog. That's a really nice lure. I'm excited to throw that. And let's close it up. Next we have the bass munitions. 
a Breacher Mini Beaver. It says perfect for flipping, pitching, a swing head, or as a jig trailer. You might be able to put this on the Chatter Frog, but it kind of, this is more like a crawdad look. Um, you could throw on anything to a light. Finesse set up to a heavy punch rig. Works around grass, docks, rocks, and other structure. Pretty much any place a bass can hide. This almost looks like a crawdad. It could also work as, like, it kind of almost looks like a centipede at the same time, too. Or worms. Could be an ultra thick worm. These are some pretty nice looking crawdad things. And the only reason I was saying that is because these little things coming off. And then you could drag this above the bottom on Texas rig. Pretty much anything, but if we're gonna use Texas rig, I'd use a pretty tiny hook because this is only about two inches long. So a gap from there to the legs. Um, but that's this month's box. And if you guys wanted to know what's in the Ultra, the Bass XL box, it had a jerk bait, a three inch jerk bait, and some yearling bait balls. Um, but you also get a sticker, Lucky Tackle Box sticker. I have one of these on my Lucky, or my Tackle Box. And you get the Fish on Magazine, and also a thing of Dr. Dan's lip balm. But that's that month's Lucky Tackle Box, and I have some news for you guys. Instead of the bass box, um, I'm going to be getting the panfish box. So panfish is like crappie, bluegill. Um, some of the videos I've seen, it comes with like really small bass lures that are supposed to be used for crappie. But you could also use them for bass if you wanted to. But just to give you guys a different variety, uh, we're going to get like three, crop or three panfish boxes, then three bass boxes, and then... That's pretty much what the layout's going to be for this year. Uh, might have a few fishing videos here for you guys in a few weeks. Um, I'm going to go put this stuff in my tackle box. And then tomorrow you guys will be able to see the video of my tackle box overview. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Try and get this channel popular. And maybe sometime I could try and give one of these things away. Um, but... That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, look forward to the tackle box overview tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later.